So you're a Microsoft 365 admin like myself and you manage multiple tenants, but one of your tenants uses Apple Business Manager and is connected Microsoft Intune to Apple Business Manager. And you've probably now received an email like this, which I'll put on screen, which says exactly your SCIM token is going to expire within 60 days. And you're now thinking, well, how do I renew this? Um, or maybe you've had a look online and you're a bit unsure and you can't, like me, you go to a video because you want to have a bit of an easier explanation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today, guys. So welcome back to the video. It's Matthew here from Matthew's Tech Hub. Hope you're doing well. This is probably going to be a short and fast video because it doesn't take very long to do this, but I'm just hoping it helps a lot of IT admins like myself out there on how to do this. There is um, The reason I thought I'd create this video as well is because I noticed that some of the articles published online are actually out of date or some of the options have changed. So again, I thought, you know what, I need to create a video on this and I looked online. I couldn't find any videos really relating to this new change. So I thought, let's do it. Let's go. Let's just create a video. So here we are. So what you're going to do guys, first, guys, is you want to jump onto the Apple Business Manager. And you can do that by going to business.apple.com and then signing in with your administrative um, Apple Business Manager account. Now, before we do get started, just make sure, again, as I said there, you need to make sure your account is an administrator. If it's not an administrator, you are going to have issues and it's not going to uh, work correctly for you and you won't see these options that we need to enable. So first of all, guys, um, once you're signed in, uh, you're going to go down to the bottom left and click on your name. And then at the top, you'll have preferences. Select that. And unfortunately, which you may have noticed on some articles, between beta features and manage Apple IDs, there would have been an option called directory sync. But it seems that Apple have actually recently moved this. I mean, I haven't done one of these renewals for probably about six months. So I think they've within the six month period, they've moved this. So I'm going to show you where they have moved it to because it did stump me for a little while. And I thought, gosh, am I, have I not got enough permissions or something else? But it just turns out they've actually moved it. So um, what you want to do now is you want to go into the managed Apple IDs just right here. And then this will now show you the uh, the connection stuff that's going on between Apple Business Manager and Microsoft Intune that you would have set up when you set up Intune. Now on the, uh, just right here, as you can see, here is the directory sync option. So you're gonna to go to Microsoft Entra Connect Sync and you're gonna click on setup just on the right hand side here. And then this will now then take you to the page where it shows you the tenant URL, the status if it's connected, which you can see it's currently connected, and then the expiry date, but I, just, but I have just renewed this, so I'm not going to be applying this to this tenant, but I'm just going to show you this for today's example on how you do it. So what I'm now going to do, guys, is you'll probably see your expiry date is about to expire, probably within well, probably within 60 days if you just got the email. And what you're going to do now is going to click on where it says uh, client secret with a little plus button just right here. So just click on this and give that a moment. And then as you can see now, a big secret uh, will appear. So this is this is now your secret key. So what you're going to do now is you're going to click on copy on the right hand side and then I'm going to have to jump over to your Microsoft 365 admin center. So we'll just flick over to our 365 admin center. So now you're in the Microsoft 365 admin center. What you're going to do now is on the left hand side, you'll see the identity tab just at the bottom. She's going to click on this. It previously used to be Microsoft Azure, or um, but they've now changed it to Microsoft Entra. So jump into here. And what you're going to do now is at the very top, you've got this search box. So I'm just going to now type in um, enterprise applications right there. And then as you can see now under the services section, the fourth one down the left, again, this may change if they add more options available, but currently uh, you're going to enterprise applications. And then you'll see all the list of the applications that you've currently got in use or are activated or available for your tenants. So because obviously you've, you've already set up Apple Business Manager, you'll have Apple Business Manager just right down at the bottom. So it's going to click on this and then this will just take a moment to load. And then on the left hand side, you'll have the provisioning tab. So she's going to select this. Again, it's going to take a minute there to load. And then you've got the update credentials just right here, which is under the manage provisioning. So she's going to select on this. And then again, you're going to click on the admin credentials right here. And you'll see this straight away it gives you the tenant URL and then the secret token. So the secret token, you won't be able to see this. Um, this it was just a bit of a security measure, but obviously you won't be able to see the previous tokens uh, secret token here. So don't worry, it is all there. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on uh, in front of this dot and then just clear the dot out. And you're going to paste in that token that you've just created within Apple Business Manager. And then what you're going to do is then just click on test connection just right here. Let's give that a moment to test. And as you can see in the top right, it now says testing connection to Apple Business Manager SAML. The supply credentials are authorized to enable provisioning. So that's now be enabled. So all you have to go and do is just by uh, simply save this token, just by clicking on save at the very top in the top left hand corner. 
click on save and that's it and you've now uh, successfully added your new token so now once we've now because you've now applied that new token guys what you're now going to do is jump back into apple business manager we'll just close out of this uh token here and then what you can now do is because you've now applied the new token you can now just simply delete the old token there just to avoid any confusion that's always what i do so just click on this little bin icon on the right and then just click confirm right there and that will delete your token so that's it guys so again so i hope that this has been a very helpful video i know it's going to be a bit short and sweet but it's quite an easy process to do if you guys have any other questions or if you have anything else you'd like to know about this or if you do have any issues again please reach out to me in the comment section below i do always read the comments and try to get back to people as much as i can and again, as always, guys, please also smash that like button if this video has helped. Please also smash the subscribe button as well. And also hit that the bell notification icon uh, so you can don't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.